Good morning, or whatever time you're watching, I always say good morning. Um, it is Estrid's, hopefully, if we get round, third, third, that was two, and final 40k novice qualifier before she can upgrade to open. Um, today, Dan was working, so he couldn't come and crew, so Dad has travelled three and a half hours on Father's Day to come Thank and crew Estrid. <laughs> um, you don't need crew to do a 40k, so if you're thinking about doing endurance and you think I don't have anyone to crew, really for the lower distances, even all the way up to an 80k graded, though I think maybe in the rules you need to have a crew for that, I can't remember. Yeah, you do. Anyway, for the lower distance, you don't need a crew. You just take it a little bit slower, you stop at other places, and if you're really struggling, there's usually a crew out on course that'll give you a hand. But because I want Esther to race, and you do need a crew to race, I want her to get used to them. I want her to get used to the routine. So it's all part of the training. So not a necessity, very nice to have, um, but good for training if your goal is the longer distances, because I think crewing is so, so essential in terms of it kind of sometimes is what makes or breaks a ride. If you've got a hot day, a tired horse, a frustrated, tired rider, seeing those crew and having them assess the horse and look after everything can make a big difference. So we have one crew, insured him on the uh, Mave the van for an extra nine pounds. <laughs> so cheap. Um, and we're going to go get Estrid. It did rain overnight. so. Bets are on. Did she roll in the one muddy patch she could find? We have four shoes. She looks vaguely clean. Who knows where she's put a fly mask? Is she sound? She's sound? Let's go! Bye bye, Tizzy. You're just going to pull down your legs. Are you sure? I'm gonna put you on your legs. You're too stressed for breakfast. Five minutes early, I think. We made it! Well done, Maeve. Well done, Estrid. So Dad is just going to take her for a wander so she can have some grass, take it all in. I'm going to go get my number. I've already set up the trailer, all my water and stuff. <sighs> the worst part is over, we made it. Number on, emergency tags on, filled out my bet sheet. Pony is happily grazing. Can only mean one thing, it's time to bet. Are you ready, Esther? Give you a little bit of a sponge off first because you've got poop on your butt. Yes, yeah, you do. Good girl. They're good. How old are Did really well. We're tacked up, ready to go. I think they're going. Two. Orange. Half of them on the ground. Thank you. white one. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> touching me. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fun, isn't it? If we're going to spend a lot of this going sideways. It's just a change in texture of the ground. You're all right. Well done, Astrid. Well done. I know. You'll be fine. Promise. Welcome. Good girl. Come on. No, that's backwards. Come on. Forwards. Good girl. 
Kom. Kig i lækkeren. Kom og kig med i Oh, good girl. <laughs> oh, you are so dramatic. about these are you? They're just bailed. That's great. Hey! They're what you eat, you donut. Come on. They're what you eat. You're all right. You're all right. They're deep. The grass is slippy. Oh. But they're everywhere, so there's no point running away from one particular one. Because you're just going to go straight at another one, aren't you? So you might as well just take it all in your stride. Good girl. Windmill, that's it. Some windmills. Nice grassy tracks. Oh, look what we've got for you. Nom nom. Do you want to drink it? Put your nose in it. <laughs> this is nice going, isn't it? Esther? It's nice and bouncy. Right next to me. Old hill for you, no, Estrid. Estrid, you're meant to be trotting. You're meant to be trotting. Good girl, that's better. It's a big old hill. Hello. Okay, finished Estrid. Should we find our crew and water you down? You've been very good with water today, haven't you? Okie dokie. Let's go find your crew. Done. Very proud of her, and look at her. There's no shaking, no sweating. She's been very good. Apparently, Doc says the heart rate is very easy to do. You're very pleased about it, aren't you? I'm very pleased. You can hear it from the other end of the field. Yeah. And it's nice and normal. As well. And we're gonna Lucky. just give a. We're gonna go in at like 20 minutes. Heart rate's currently 58. So we're gonna give her like another minute and then just head in. Well done, Esther. Try 
So you're getting the idea. The burgers, but we have had burgers while Estrid has grazed. What would you rate your burger out of 10? Oh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And the other one was 10 out of 10. Ooh. I didn't finish my burger because it was a double cheeseburger. Um, I wasn't that hungry, which is unusual for me. So now Estrid is tangling that up. Um, we are just waiting to see our results. So we passed the vet, very proud of her, heart rate of 58, um, which is about standard for her. I think we probably went over just over 13k an hour, so we shall see. Um, now she's upgraded to open, so she doesn't have to do any more 40k novices if we didn't want. She's not ready, I don't think, to up the distance in one day, but I might do a two day ride with her, and I think I will continue to do um, like between like pleasure ride distance 16 to 40k, maybe a few 32s, just for her to get more venue practice because look how good she's being and this is time like number three so I want her to be good at vet gates next year so this is excellent practice we'll probably have a few more runs this season are you snoozy are you snoozy hi snoozy face a few more runs this season just to carry on learning really I can't believe how good she was being sloshed go clever girl Right, let me go get my results and then we can tell you exactly how we did. I have been to give my number back at the lovely TS at the secretary. Someone, I'm quite proud, is having a good snooze. Thank you for taking the patch out there. So, we did it, 13.1k an hour. So we got a completion, no grade this time because our heart rate was too high, but that's okay. What is it? We got a fly. The flies are horrible, aren't they, Astrid? What would you give the pony out of 10? Oh, 10. What would you give the rider out of 10? Oh, 12. <laughs> I thought it was actually quite nice for me. I get quite stressy at rides, so we, we reined it in, didn't we? Thank you so much to the organisers, vets, barrier, volunteers, everyone who makes ride like, rides like this happen. It was a wonderful ride, and considering how hard the ground has been, it actually rode very, very well. So now we'll load up, go home, and bask in the glory that Estrid is no longer a novice horse. Proud! Don't follow me. Are you proud? She's like, I don't know what to do with myself. Are you okay there? Mm -hmm.